Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. One of the things that people may ask is, you know, what is it about my brain and spirit? that I need to know today? What is the connection? What's the number one thing you might want people to kind of understand about their brain and maybe this thing we've been talking about, this higher mind pathway? Yeah, you know, I think one of the most important, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and, you know, this year, when it started with me with this thought, how do we give hope to the hopeless? Mm. This has been my theme, the theme I'm, I'm rolling with this year because at one point in time, I, my life sank down so low that it really was hopeless, or at least I thought it was. It felt hopeless, right? Mm -hmm. And it is, and anybody who's been there, and I really pray that nobody is there on the call today, like I was, or, you know, maybe even worse, or even anywhere even close, but if you are, you know, and, and even if you're not, even if you're in a place in your life where you're ready to grow and expand and, and just have it all, but haven't quite figured out you know, how to get there yet, how to move to that next level. I think the most important thing I want to share is this, is that, you know, like like driving in the fog, right? You've got to go a, a kilometer, a mile, maybe it's only 30, 40 feet until you see the next sign. Hmm. But the important thing is, is that you've got to move. You have to move. You've got to take some steps in a direction, in the positive direction. You don't even necessarily have to know the right direction or exactly what you're going to do, especially if you're in that hopeless situation. And I'll probably talk about that depending on how this goes today, Darius, today, mm -hmm. um, you know, that dark point in my life. But, you know, you have to build what I call a gravity well of positive momentum. And, it, and, and you don't even have to know what to do exactly, but it's this positive momentum. And you add to that gravity well, and it builds and it builds and it builds. And then soon the signs appear, and then you know what to do, and you know what to go. Clarity starts to form. And, but the whole point is positive momentum, and I want to talk about I hope we can talk about that today. Positive momentum, when you start to, to pull it together, right, once it starts to really grow, you can attract from all angles, all directions, all mm -hmm. dimensions, all at once. And it's kind of like that event horizon. And once it gets enough mass, enough density, you, in fact, will attract from all dimensions, all directions in the most positive and beautiful way. But, you know, you just got to move at the beginning. And it takes these little steps that you, you do to help clear your mind, to help clear your soul and your spirit so you can get started. Well, I want to go right into it because uh, I was reading this recently about you, and I hope you don't mind sharing. You had what I guess we could call a, a near-death experience or an outer body type of moment that happened to you. Can you take me to that event and what was going on there? <laughs> I, I wish it was a moment, <laughs> but it was okay. a little bit longer than a. It was a little bit longer than a moment. Um, it, it was about 11 days of hell. Um, well, it wasn't all hell, right? But um, from a physical standpoint, it, it certainly was. And so, you know, for for a few years, um, because of the community that I grew up in, and, and basically I, have, I come from a science-based community. My technology mm -hmm. is born in science. Um, when it started, and I, I started to spiritually evolve a little bit, but I resisted. I even, I didn't even tell the truth about one of my products and how it actually came to be until like years and years and, uh, later. Um, and, and so it was in that time where I was resisting a lot of stuff that all of a sudden I got this really bad flu. And you know, I've had flus before, but the, this, this was it knocked me on my can for eleven days, and. Um, one day I, uh, of this, I ended up at the hospital. I don't know how I got there. I mean, 
I know how I got there now, but when I was there, I didn't understand where I was, and I was almost hallucinating. I really felt I had one foot in, one foot out. And, you know, they put me on emergency room protocols for, you know, 1,000 milligrams of Advil, 1,000 milligrams of Tylenol every hour rotating, which is terrible, right? Terrible for the body, but better than dying. Um, And next thing I remember, I'm at home, and I'm sweating, and I'm, you know, I can't get up. And all of a sudden, the pain and the discomfort lifts. And all I see is light. And I see this information come down like a beam, like a ray. And, but I'm really aware that it's information. Come down and it starts to go right into my forehead. And all of a sudden, I am aware of this whole new process of how to manifest and how to clear our own energy field. Mm. And through this whole process, and, and I went through this for about three days, of the 11 days that I was out, wow. three days of this, what I felt was this, this massive spiritual download. And when I awoke, and the fever broke super quick, um, I ended up creating this product um, that was called Chakra Manifestation, which is the, the first version. And it was launched and ready and to my community in three weeks. And, you know, some people go that are awesome creators, right? And they say, ah, it's not that quick. Well, for me, the product before I created that took me two years to get online. Yeah. Hmm. But, you know, it was such a powerful download. Everything was mapped up. I knew exactly what to do. I had intense clarity. And I went through it, and everything came together. To me, it really just like it was, it was a gift from the divine. If there's one thing you'd like to share, maybe one lesson from that that could release somebody from a little suffering today, what would it be? What would be like one clue or tip or, or suggestion that you learned in that whole ordeal? Yeah, is to is to trust. You know, the and this is the hardest thing too. And it's something yeah. that if you have a hard time doing it, is that you know it's like a skill, like anything, mm. right? It's, um, you don't expect to be the best baseball player the first time you go up to bat, right? You don't expect to be a great figure skater. It's a skill, but this is something that we all should be mindful of and practice. And I don't like using that word should that often, but this is one of those exceptions, right? Is that is to trust that you are here for a purpose. You know, before I came on this call, I put out this intention to everybody, and this went out to everybody. It says, I honor you. Mm. And I'm talking to everybody that was going to be on this call. I honor you. I honor your life's purpose and your importance here on earth. Please assist me to serve in the highest and best way for everybody being on this call. And also, mm. I said this, please assist me to clear, cleanse, and maintain everybody's prosperity, flow, and abundance now and forever. <laughs> That's sort of a little prayer <laughs> that I do. But I, <clears throat> because I, I really do want that for everybody. Mm. But it's that one peace, that trust that you are here. Trust that you are here for a purpose. I go through the effort to honor you for it because I know it's truth, and I want you to begin, every single one of you, to trust that, right? So no matter how dark, how, you know, it, it could be, it's just, you know, gold tested in fire. You just need to learn a lesson, just need to upgrade just a little bit, but trust it's here for you. You're, a perp- you're here for a purpose, and you have importance, and look for those lessons that you can springboard off and grow. That's, I guess, what I would say, Darius. Yeah, I want to jump in uh, with some suggestions here. Because first of all, I think that is amazing. Trust and know that you are here for a purpose, and everyone is. Yet there's so many things happening sometimes with emotional debris that tends to hold us back, uh, triggers and fear. Um, you've created some something called passive brain fitness that actually allows people – to use frequency to begin to rise above a race to take away the charge from some of those traumas and life moments that come up. Tell me a little bit about how that works and what you discovered. Well, passive brain fitness is a form of brainwave entrainment or brainwave stimulation. And so years ago, you know, I was had a, I discovered actually brainwave entrainment as a solution because I didn't want it. So mm. I'll back up a little bit. I was coming out of a really terrible time in my life where I even contemplated taking my own life. And <clears throat> I had been in a cycle of self-abuse. 
Um, so in other words, I was abusing myself um, with you know alcohol and drugs and bad stuff. Then this is you know maybe the second time I've ever even said this out loud and publicly. By the way, but I think it's important you know that you know where I'm coming from and and, and, and all of this. And I was looking for a way to stop self medicate I didn't want to self medicate I didn't want to, you know, to have a bottle of wine to go to sleep. I didn't want any of that stuff. And I looked up brainwave entrainment and I found some really interesting stuff online. I was like, wow, this looks pretty cool. So I ordered some and I tried it and it worked for me. It worked for me. I started to research and I saw things that were just amazing. I saw there was doctors out there that said, you know, they were able to increase the IQ of children that were two standard deviations below the mean, so 70 IQ, by 17 points, which is life-changing. And if you know anything about my background and, you know, all the struggles I went through as a young kid with some developmental delays, you could see why that, that just drew me in. It, it, it said, okay, well, i got to know more about this. I studied it. I researched. And I couldn't let go of the fact that there was something missing from this technology, that people were just missing something of great power in this technology, right? And so I was studying. Uh, I, I, I self-educate all the time, right? Um, I, I replace the self-medicate with self-educate. Mm, and so I self-educate all the time because it's, it's thrilling to me. And I happened to be taking a course from one of the top brain scientists in the world in terms of how our senses work, right, our sound, our visual senses. And while she was giving this lecture, bam, the light went on. I went, oh, this is it. This is the missing thing I've been looking for. And so here it is. So I, I really am standing on the shoulders of giants, right, people that have been doing frequency-based science for a long time. But it was through here and through my desire to find that missing piece that I did find it. And here it is, you know, brainwave stimulation, brainwave entrainment, very powerful. When we bring in the visual senses, we know it's even doubly powerful. But, you know, I'll give you an example. You've seen these light goggles, right? You know, these things where you... Uh, yeah. You, you, yeah, you put these guys in the flashes of light, right? And so that's clinically effective, clinically proven. But here's the thing. Flashes of light really don't have a lot of meaning, do they? I mean, I guess maybe in, unless you're being chased by a you know, police officer or something, right? Yeah. But yeah. You know, other than that, they don't have a lot of meaning, right? And so what we learned about the visual system is this is that it gets excited, it revs up. You know, so you have to know about 70% of all the light that comes in through the eyes is, is projected right to the visual system, right, mm -hmm. into this huge part of the brain. But it doesn't mean it wakes up the brain. It doesn't mean it gets engaged. Well, what I learned is this, depth perception, complex geometry, things moving in 3D space, relation, in relationship, you know, to the person, to the observer. This is what gets the visual system excited, and so what I decided to do is take this clinically proven visual stimulatory technology and put it into complex geometry, put it into scenes of nature, put it into objects that are moving on screen mm, and okay. that change the relationship to each other. And guess what happened, right? Instead of that's, that's what means something to the brain. It has meaning. So the brain wakes up in a way that it never did before. And so we're able to produce... Uh, you know, and, and, and give people high energy frequency healing vibrations about 14 hours worth in about seven minutes through this process. Wow. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.